Welcome to Fantastic Fiber Friday. And I have a whole list of stuff to go through, so I'm going to get right on it. The fiber of the week this week was llama, and I was really surprised with my deep love for llama, how I missed actually doing a series on this fiber. And I had shown three different types of llama earlier this week at Monday and Wednesday's blog, and I had some roving, I have some baby llama, and I had some adult llama raw fleece. And what I did is I actually did spin up some of the roving. I hadn't spun up the others yet. The roving is quite beautiful, quite slippery, and drafts super, super easy. And it was a joy to spin. But before I show you the spinning, I would like to show you some of the baby llama because that's been an ongoing project for me. And I have that sitting right here. And I've been carding up bits of it at a time because I do have an entire fleece to do. Okay. This is so soft, even with the guard hair in it, it is like cashmere. It is delightfully soft, and I'm probably going to do something super lacy and super lovely for, around my neck with it. I haven't spun any of it yet, as I'm still in the processing part. And this llama fleece came from Massachusetts. There was a shout out on Ravelry for anybody wanting these two llama fleeces, that and the rougher one that I showed that's multicolored, which I think would weave up nicely into a rug. It's very coarse, but the colors are amazing. And they offered this free to anybody who paid to ship it, and I was like, me, I'll ship it. <laughs> so. That's how I got my hands on some beautiful llama fleeces, and this is just fantastically gorgeous baby llama. It can go from very, very coarse, like Navajo churro coarse, to super, super soft cashmere, depending on the llama, I guess, and depending on the age of the llama. So, this is baby llama. Isn't that great? put that to the side and I will show you the spun top. I spun this up this morning just to have a little bit to show you and I can spin it incredibly thin and further on down the line I got a little bit thicker I think. Yeah there it is. Thicker. I was kind of playing around with it to see how thin or how thick I could get it. But like I said, it spins up beautifully. It's a little bit slippery. I find it a lot easier to spin than wool, and I love spinning wool. So there's some llama fiber spun up. And if you want to learn more about the different types of llamas, check out Monday and Wednesday's blog, and you can find out all about that there. Now, I kind of got excited this week because I, I had some stuff come in the mail, and... I'm a part of the Blue Mountain Handcrafts group on Ravelry, and I, I love talking to those ladies. They're wonderful. But I was looking for something to take care of <laughs> a table I was given. Um, it's, a, it's an heirloom of our family, and I found that any kind of wood stuff I used on it just left it looking foggy. So I hopped on to Blue Mountain Handcrafts because I knew they made wood balm for their... Um, fiber tools and ordered some of their wood balm. This stuff is amazing. It comes in a little package like this and they fold it over and put a cute little sticker there and it comes with a little cloth to put your balm on with and it comes in a variety of fragrances. I got grapefruit and lavender and I've been using the lavender as you can see I put my cloth inside and it kind of looks just like green salve. Amazing stuff. I've used it on my tools. I used it on the table, and the table came out beautiful. It even softened my hands up. It's non-toxic and all natural. And just to give you a little bit of an idea, I did go over my tools. These had, have had no type of finish put on them. It was just raw wood, and it worked really well. The wood's protected. It's not sticky or greasy. I let it set in overnight. It's quite, quite nice stuff. And the other thing that got me excited from Blue Mountain Handicraft is she was having a sale on bags. So I snagged 
what they call their spinning buddy bag and it's to put a spindle in this one might be a little bit too big but to put a spindle and some fiber in and I'm really impressed with her sewing skills because this bag is fully lined even the pockets are lined I don't know if I can show that or not but I'm gonna try and it's got this little um, tab you can hang on to it with and a nice little ribbon drawstring. And I think they're just really cute bags and I've been using it all week to carry my latest knitting project. Really, really love her bags. Those, that is so cute. Now, as you can see, I am wearing a finished object. I finally finished my went berry and it's actually getting a little warm to wear it. I'm getting a little warm underneath it. And I ended up having to block it on the wall because the kittens wanted to chew up the tea pins. I think I need to invest in some blocking wires, but I thought it was going to be small and it blocked out much bigger than what it looked like. I thought it was going to be like a child size shawl but the blocking really made a difference and stretched it all out so that it's a normal size shawl. I love this pattern. It's by Michelle Miller also known as the Fickle Knitter and you can find her on Ravelry and find her patterns at FickleKnitter.com Oh and the website for Blue Mountain Handcrafts is BlueMountainHandcrafts.com I'm sorry I'll put, I'll put all the um, web links at the bottom of the video. I also have been working on, since I finished my went burying, I've been working on my Zilver by Lisa Mulch. And it is almost finished. I have maybe 20 more rows to do. No, 32 more rows. Two more repeats. Another repeat of the, um, the striped section here and then another repeat of plain, some plain stock in it. And that'll actually be finished. That'll be done. I love this colorway. It's so pretty. And I wanted to show you um, or tell you who the contest winner was. And the contest winner was Patsy. And Patsy has done a wonderful thing. She asked me to gift the bats to her friend Amy. So I will be contacting you, Amy, on Ravelry. And I'll be contacting you, Patsy, just to let you know you want and that I will be sending your um, random act of kindness there to your friend Amy. And I do believe that is all we have for today. So you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next Friday.